So we're here at the Display Port, and uh, who are you? Bob Kreps. I'm a consultant to VESA. And uh, what are you wearing right now? These are Daiquiri's Smart Glasses product, and uh, they're an augmented reality device that incorporates cameras, microphone, infrared sensor, and accelerometer. And, and with this little computer that runs it over here, that could be in the pocket or something? Yes. Or that could be on the Designed belt, to maybe? clip on your belt. And this is intended for industrial applications. What is it run? Kind of a uh, Android or something something else? I'm not Windows? sure. I think it I think it might be Linux based. Linux something Linux yeah. in there. And then uh, so this is uh and this all kinds of augmented reality and uh, mm -hmm. this is using a uh, display port? Correct. It uses a type C connection, a USB type C, oops, to do to provide display port video power to the headset. They have some magnets too here. This is a special yeah. uh, connector to keep yeah. it so it won't fall out. Won't fall out? Yeah. So Type-C to Type-C? Yes. Using the DisplayPort uh, protocol or something? It uses uh, DisplayPort alternate mode over Type-C, and it also provides power and gets data from the sensors back to the CPU over the, mm. over the Type-C connection. Nice. And uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you're showing here. You have a Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. It's using, uh, down here, there's a, a Type-C that does, and through this box, Mm -hmm. It converts it to an HDMI. Correct. So, uh, so and but for it to work, is a Display Port. It uses Display Port to uh, to transfer the video data, which is then converted to HDMI in the dock. All right. Then you have all these little adapters right here. Yeah, those just show various ways that that uh, Type C can be converted to other formats like VGA, HDMI, whatever you need. And uh, right now, there's uh, Samsung, LG, and Huawei. This, for example, the Mate 10 right here, Mate 10 Pro, mm -hmm. uh, is doing a full, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's DisplayPort yeah. alternate mode. And so, it also, again, it uses, it gets, it does video data, charge power, and uh, other USB data all through the single Type-C connection. So this monitor has a Type-C input, and that's what enables all of the function. So the Samsung dock has USB connectors in HDMI. So right here it does yeah. USB yeah. and HDMI out mm -hmm. well, and Ethernet even, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So in this case the monitor is the dock. We have a, a C to C cable and the monitor itself has some USB ports on the side. Who's making this monitor? This is from ISO. ISO. This one is from HP. It provides similar function, but the HP does not have the uh, does not have the USB hub built in. So it'll do video and it's charging, but there's no place to plug a flash drive into it, right. like there is with the ISO. And then LG is doing some too. Uh, monitors, yes. The, no, they're also uh, doing oh, a, a uh, phone that connects on the display part. Yeah, this is a this is an LG V30. Okay. And I have a V20 from last year with very similar function. Nice. So this V30 doesn't have a desktop mode? It, it just clones what you see here? Uh, it may have a desktop mode. But uh, right now it's not active right here. I haven't well, heard about it. Yeah. I know that at least it's Samsung and Huawei are doing that. Yeah. And that's really awesome. It looks like really, looks like a real productivity desktop right here when it's active in that mode. This one also. Yeah. They launched a new dock also at the show. They, they with the new S9. I don't know what's different about the new dock, but it's just slightly different design. Yeah, if you if you connect to the Type C on the, this is an S8. So if you plug into this, it yeah. will do video out, but it doesn't do uh, charging and so forth. So for example, if I plug it into this monitor, yeah. uh, it it won't. It won't actually do any of those functions because of the way Samsung implemented it. So, so it's not going to do the desktop mode? Actually, it does. On this one. It depends on the monitor. It won't on the, yeah. on the HP, but it does on the ISO. Okay, they, they didn't trigger it or something. Maybe there's a way to trigger it. Uh, and it, it always says the connection is HDMI. Regardless, it's using DisplayPort right now. It's plugged into a Type-C input, but it always comes up as HDMI. So apparently, in their firmware, they've said the video connection will be HDMI, okay. no matter what it is.
And uh, then we, we look at it where right here is a very long display port cable. Yeah, uh, it's called Opto DP. What is that? Uh, this is a, a 30 meter optical cable. And the transceivers are made by Cosemi. These are prototypes. Cosemi does not make cables. They are partnering with someone else to, to bring this to market. So this is a 30 meter and I have a 10 meter here. <clears throat> and these Just are, at the end, you put the, the connectors. Right, there's an optical transmitter and receiver. Yeah. So DisplayPort mon monitors ha provide a signal called DP power in yeah. the, uh, <clears throat> at the monitor. So you can have a, a powered device at both ends. One's, one's powered by the computer and the other one's powered by the monitor. And uh, this is the compression technology that's been used. And here is, uh, is this something new that's, yes. uh, it's called uh, right here, Display Your World. Yeah, uh, display HDR 400, 600, 1000. What does that mean? So Display HDR, this, this portion of the logo is a new standard. Display HDR defines performance metrics for monitors that support uh, uh, high dynamic range. And high dynamic range can be thought of, a simple way to think of it is 10-bit color. So it expands the color range, but it also uh, defines contrast ratio and peak luminance. So there's three levels of the standard. So 400, 600, and 1000 are terms to define the peak uh, luminance or, or brightness in nits. 1000 nits is a pretty bright display. It's very bright, yeah. It's, it's possible that it will go even further, right, in the future? It, it could. Uh, the, the member companies at, at Visa who developed the standard felt that these three levels were adequate. Now, there uh, is discussion about coming up with some new specifications for uh, handheld devices because they don't need to be quite that bright. All right. And then uh, you, you showing something off about that or? Uh, well, we have, a, we have a demo video here from ASUS and I'll, I apologize for the for the jerky playback because I'm doing it from a laptop instead of the desktop that I intended to. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't play very smoothly, but in this video, you'll see uh, that they, they change the uh, color range from 8-bit to 10-bit while it's playing. And right. So we can see an example of that here in a moment. Uh, and so you, you see how the, the, this area isn't really black. It's, it's kind of black, but not. And now when we switch to high dynamic range, you get very black. Nice. Uh, and this is the 8K display? It is. On the market, right? Yes. 8K from Dell? Yes. And I can connect that if you'd like to see it. And that's part of the 1.4 standard to support 8K? It uses the high bitrate 3 that's in the, uh, in the current standard, the 1.4 standard. Yeah, that's, that's how you can get 8K at 30 hertz. Yeah. That's what bitrate? It's, it's 8.1 gigabits per lane times four lanes, so it's a total of 32 gigabits. All right. And that's done from a Type C connector yeah. to a. Here, let me unplug it. So we, we come out of a Type C connector on the laptop yeah. and go through a C to DP cable. And that one can do 8K, that yes, cable. Can. Nice. Uh, and th this monitor, if you if you have two outputs, two DisplayPort outputs, like you'd have, say, on a graphics a desktop graphics card, will operate at 8K at uh, 60 hertz. So that's a feature of the monitor. That's a nice display to have. Uh, yeah, it is. So then it looks really cool, all the 8K stuff yeah, so on this display. Can, uh, try showing an 8K image. Uh, this one will do, I guess. Nice. Everybody has a 32 megapixel camera, right? Yes. I mean, many people can just get one of those and see the quality. That's uh, one of the primary uses, yeah. So let me go down to the information panel here. Is there any announcement about the future version of DisplayPort? 1.5, uh, 2.0? Well, the, uh, uh, oh, here we go. So you can see it's running at 8K at 30 hertz. 
and where it says maximum 60 hertz, you'd get to that yeah. if you had two in. Two Is that the next ones. version of DisplayPort, 8K60? <clears throat> no, that exists today. But it, with two cables, right? Uh, yeah, so DisplayPort 1.5, uh, the Visa, Visa has formally approved the formation of a group to discuss that. And obviously, faster, higher bandwidth is, is one consideration. Uh, another, another area for discussion is the current encoding uh, uses about 20% of available bandwidth. So it's given up to a, to a method called 8B10B that's used to uh, sort of scramble the data so you don't get a long string of ones or zeros, so you can keep it synchronized. Uh, there's more efficient ways to do that. So we may, instead of losing 20%, uh, one of the ideas that's being discussed for the next version of DisplayPort, we cut that down to well below 5%. So there's, it's, there's more to it than just trying to make the, the signals faster. You know, we can also make them more efficient.